After spending two weeks with the launch X431 Pro Elite, these are the top tips and tricks that allow you to make best use of this diagnostic scanner. At number one, you need to be really friends with the back button, especially for these moments when the keyboard is on half of your screen, the back button is your life savior. Also, from time to time, the tablet wants to connect to your launch account. And should you not have a Wi-Fi connection, hitting the back button will allow you to continue with your scanning. At number two, we start to look at settings and they're not very intuitive. So drop the big top menu, drop it the second time, find that little mark. First thing that I found useful is to adjust the sound level because it is annoyingly high. And also when you hear the sound really, really annoyingly high, you will struggle to find the place where the setting is. So settings, sound, adjust the level to a comfortable level for you. If we are in the settings menu, next thing that we want to use is in the battery section, we want battery percentage to be turned on so that we're able to see on the top right hand corner, the percentage of battery charge. Another thing that we need to consider and make sure that we have set correctly is the time zone of our system. And this is especially important if you're doing work on BMWs, if you're resetting the maintenance schedules, the software is adjusting the time on the vehicle based on the time of your tablet. So system, date and time, make sure that you have the right time zone so that you have the right time and date on your tablet. Normally you would expect your reports and your scans to be in diagnostic history. Some of them will be there. Some of them will be on the cloud when you're doing the intelligent scanning, but many of them will be in the user info tab in health reports. And later you're going to see that the recordings for your data, for your uh, data logging is also at the same, uh, at the same point. Now, we got a bit familiar and we have done some settings on our tablets. Now let's think of how we can connect this to a computer. How can we extract the files, the reports straight to a computer? In the beginning, you will see that the tablet doesn't really want to allow you to connect to it, but there are settings that will help us do just that. First thing that we need to do, USB management, untick this little bit. After that, in connected devices, we go to USB and we will select this device and file transfer. All of a sudden, if your unit is connected to the computer, you have access to it. And when you go in the root folder, the areas of interest will be, or at least are for me, the screen recorder areas. So this is what we are recording right now. And after that, if you want to have access to your health reports, you go to see and launch. You have part of your reports in print history, PDF temp file. And the rest of them are in the folder XX431 Pro Elite. And counterintuitively, you're going to find the files in a folder called images. Here is where we have the health reports and the CSV file. We got access to the file system. I've noticed that this tablet doesn't have Google Play and it is limited with regards to the apps that I'm running. So I've searched for a place where I can get additional apps. The easiest or the one that I found on Google is this platform up to down. And it's a platform that allows you to either install Google Play and install the apps from the Google Play. Or if not, you can download everything from this platform. And after that, uh, install them on the tablet. The process will be you download a file on your computer. You after that bring it to the tablet and with your file browser, you are going to find uh, the app that you want to install. APK is the extension of that file. You just click on it, install and you are off to the races. You're able to use that type of, um, of product of app. What I found quite important for me was an app to use as a flashlight, as a torch. And additionally, you can install YouTube 
WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, whatever you need for your specific task. One of the other things that I would like to share with you guys is how to export a CSV file. Natively, you don't have it in the menu, but while I was browsing around in this special user info area, your data logging or whenever you record in the live stream some parameters will be saved in this recorded data. If you access it, and select the values that you have been looking at, you have on the right hand side the export CSV file. This will generate the file in our previously described folder. You copy that file on your computer and you are able to use it as um, information on the computer. Now I hope that this video helped and gave you a little bit more insight on how to maximize your use of a diagnostic scanner like this. If you want to work with me or if you have ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments below. Alternatively, you can get in touch using our social media or our website. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.